I'm trying out a new e-bike, the Lanka Laser XT750. Uh, it's got a 400 watts motor, weighs about 21 kilos volt, and can carry 180 kilos. As always, for me, you know, the best way to reveal something isn't to look at the specs, but to try out in the real world. So let's hit the road and see how it does. And uh, if you're interested in th this e-bike, there's a link in the description. Okay, first off, this thing is much too large for me. The recommended minimum height for a rider is 165 centimeters. I'm 160 or about 5 foot 3. You can see in the video, it's a little bit of a struggle for me to walk and push it around and the brake levers don't quite fit my hands. I'd agree with the instructions that you should be at least 165 centimeters. And in my opinion, you should weigh at least 70 kilos or 154 pounds if you want to be able to handle this comfortably. With 180 kilos or almost 400 pound weight capacity, this is definitely a bike suitable for larger riders and their belongings. Pros and cons. Cons. It's got a key and a remote control. The key lets you to unlock the battery to remove it or charge it. Every time you do that, you need to use the remote to activate and unlock the bike again so the little alarm doesn't go off. I've been using the bike a week and it still surprises me. It's really counterintuitive. 
the bike has a power in jack, no power out jack. So if you want to keep your phone and other electronics charged, you are going to have to splice the cables. The acceleration in a Sismo is not quite as smooth as on a high-end e-bike. Not bad, but you noticed it. Pros, as you may have noticed, I have very little padding on my rear end, so I really appreciate the front and rear suspensions on the bike. Our roads is, are in good shape here in Shenzhen, but we do have a lot of speed bumps. It's a bike, not a scooter form factor. It has their own pros and cons. On the scooter, I can dress up or wear heels, but if there's a problem with it, you have to push that scooter all the way home. For neighborhood errands, I like the bike. I can get a little bit of exercise, but not so much I'm exhausted, or I can just use the throttle and not paddle at all if I'm feeling lazy. If I go really far or there's something urgent at home or a factory I have to go attend to, this bike folds up and can go in the back of a taxi. For personal electric vehicles, e-bike is my favorite form factor. Bikes a good, solid, reliable legacy tech. Motors just improve on that. This model works very well on its own as a bicycle. The pedaling and gear changes are smooth. I've used it without any power at all. It's not a chore or anything. That said, it is built like a tank. In the West, e-bikes like this are often associated with commuting. In China, they are often used by delivery people 12 hours a day, and those men and women are hard on their equipment. By default, our e-bikes like this are built for commercial use. If you are just paddling down the road to your office and back once a day, this is probably overkill. Other pros. The 400 watt motor is very strong. I've had friends up to 100 kilos with 10 kilos of cargo tried it out. They could go up hills and stuff with no issue. Once you figure out how to turn it on, the controls are very intuitive and won't distract you from steering. Build quality is excellent. Nothing looks cheap, nothing makes noises. Final verdict, the land. Ke Lei Si XT750 is an excellent medium price range e-bike. Powerful, built to last and a very usable bicycle on its own. Simply put though, it's for larger, stronger people who anticipate having, carrying some cargo, packages, groceries, that kind of thing. I think an average sized man or larger or stronger than average woman is the best rider for this bike. If you are like me and below average size and strength, it's really quite challenging. It's easy to use once you get past the somewhat counterintuitive directions and it's good for getting around town. With the carriers I've already mentioned, I can definitely recommend it. Okay, that's it for today. Would you like to see more e-bike reviews, more bike trips around Shenzhen? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.